Anyway, this is Ken. Say hi, Ken. Hi. Hi. Hold that like a rock star. <laughs> now, they brought him backstage because he had a profound experience that literally changed him. And I want him in his humility and his beauty just to take his time and explain what happened. They're your friends, by the way. So I had an uh, accident about a little over three years ago and really messed up my shoulder and uh, had to uh, have some surgery to reattach everything in there. And it's never been the same since. What were you doing when you had an accident? Having a lot of fun. <laughs> Anyway, things were looking kind of grim. Uh, just the past couple of years, I've really, I've lost 70 pounds and six inches around my waist. Anyway, I still couldn't do a pull-up, but uh, I wanted, you know, I got into lifting weights and I can't lift anything over my head before yesterday and uh, had real difficulty. Anyway, Dr. Joe comes into my life in October. I discovered Becoming Supernatural. I've read that three times now, and the rest of your books, and, uh, and the audio books, and the videos. <laughs> and I've meditated every night since our, the end of October. Now, let me just interrupt you for a second, Ken, honey. It sounds like you are primed for an experience. I'm just saying because I was, you I, know the material. I was looking material. forward to coming here, as I'm sure everyone else was, very, very, very much. And yesterday, um, during the, the second meditation, the one before lunch, uh, like I, I just do what he says to do, and uh, it works. <laughs> and I, I had just, I've had several profound experiences this week, but yesterday was the big one. And it all went out, and it all came back in. And at some point during the meditation, it was just like I was on fire. Every cell was on fire. Electric, you would say. Yes. And microtubules. I was racked back. Energy. And when I when I kind of became more aware of myself as I was coming back and the shoulder just it it it's healed. So tell them what you did. So Joe is still up here doing the, the breath thing, and I just... Uh, oh, the in and out breath. When yeah, they were laying the, the, yeah, that okay. thing. And so, which is good. But anyway, I just had this message or vision or whatever commandment in my head just says, you're done with this meditation, get up and go do a pull-up. So I left and I stepped over a bunch of people as I exited and the chaperones were all nice because they let me out and I, I walked as fast as I probably did a 15 minute mile over to the hotel I'm staying at and walked right in there and I'd met the owner of the gym there, Dan, and he was nice enough to take a video and I, I took a video of it and or he did and I did a pull up for the first time. Yeah. And I'm still super happy about it. So. so that was what I wanted to get out of this. So I guess I am just here to learn anything else now. Wait, wait, so. wait. Don't get away so quickly. So, so just let's go back to the, the, the up and down thing that you kind of rushed through. It works. Yeah. The formula. So, so you were doing the breath, and you were having this moment, and ener you felt energy go up to your brain, like you felt an arousal of energy yes. move into your brain. And then once the energy moves into his brain, he feels that feeling of ecstasy and joy, and the pituitary then begins to dump out oxytocin. Oxytocin signals nitric oxide. Nitric oxide signals that other chemical, and his heart starts to feel yes. super open. He feels grateful. He feels in love with life. And as soon as he's in that state of receiving... The gratitude. That's what all I felt was extreme... Gratitude. And then the reverse field from that extreme gratitude is extreme receivership, basically. Like, so grateful to be alive that you feel like it's already happened. Like, whatever it is that you wanted is done. You already have it. And here comes that reverse field. And now energy is coming right through that portal. We see it on the brain scans right here, 
right through the top of his head, and now it's coming into his body, and it's shimmering those microtubules, and the posterior pituitary releases vasopressin, and the cells swell like a sponge with water. They get filled with water, and they can oscillate because the water is the medium to cause the cells to vibrate at a faster frequency. It's a conduit. Those microtubules then shimmer and cause the cell to transmit energy through water in the form of light. And everything starts to turn on to the same radio station, the same radio dial, and that harmony, that supreme order we call love. And you feel it in every cell of your body. And as he said, it's hot, it's electric, and it will do things to your body, you will feel it. You'll, you'll, you'll be, there'll be a supreme arousal that takes place, and you, that arousal will wake you up, and that's the moment you're getting a biological upgrade. And whatever is a lower frequency, because all disease is a lowering of frequency, is now going to be harmoniously upgraded, and there'll be a change in structure, there'll be a change in function, there'll be a change in chemistry, there'll be an upgrade in some way because energy now is instructing matter. How many people understand? Yeah. And in one second. I believe. <laughs> oh, and if you do the activity, you need your shoulders to climb up, possibly climb up some theoretical trees, for those of you who haven't done it. And I couldn't have done that yesterday before. I, I wasn't even thinking about it today. I just went and did it and climbed 40 feet up this tree. And uh, somebody, when I get back here, somebody said, hey, Ken, how's your shoulder? And I went, Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Too busy being the new self to really worry about the old self. Hey, now, I want you to reason this with me. Because when we were backstage and we were talking and he was telling me about his frozen shoulder and his motorcycle accident and how it was injured and all the things they did to it and his limitations and the, the, all the physical therapy he did matter to matter never changed it, couldn't force through it, there was a contraction in tissue. Are you with me still? Yes. So the contraction in tissue has a pattern in the field, in the light, yes or no? The contraction couldn't be in the tissue unless it was in the field. Are you with me still? And that frozen pattern is keeping everything material the same. So he goes to a greater level of order, a greater level of frequency a greater level of oneness and wholeness greater than the disease or the imbalance. It makes sense then that this, whatever is not consistent with that pattern is going to be reorganized into a new pattern. In other words, the greater complexity of frequency is going to unravel that contraction and reorganize it into order, and then we'd call that a healing. Are you with me still? Because he changed it in the field. Are you with me still? So then... In one moment, in an instant, he gets a biological upgrade. But I said to him when we were backstage, I don't really care about the shoulder thing. That's just, that's just what, what's, got it, what's got the upgrade. For other people, it's eczema. For other people, it's Parkinson's disease. For other person, it's uh, you know, a heart arrhythmia or a damaged heart. It's just where energy goes because that's where you've been directing it with your attention. How many people understand? And all of a sudden now, there's an instantaneous change in the person's body. Uh, the, no surgery could do that, you understand. It would just create more contraction in there because it's matter moving around, taking out parts or putting parts back in, trying to fix it mechanistically instead of going after it from a vitalistic standpoint. 